not, but I've met with transgender people in the past. I, I sat down with Raleigh Democratic State members. Representative Dwayne Hall and showed him the full 10-minute interview and asked him his thoughts. Oh, AJ, it is not the interview I expected. Hall tells me he was thinking McCrory would say he regretted aspects of the bill or the millions of dollars in lost state revenue. I actually expected the purpose was to begin the healing, to bring us together, but uh, the, the governor essentially threw more fuel on the fire. In an election year, I sat down with Stephen Green, a political science professor at NC State University, to see what, if any, effects House Bill 2 is expected to have on the polls in November. For people who may not be paying particularly close attention, which, let's be honest, is probably a majority of voters, uh, they don't hear all that much. They hear something about bathrooms. But I'll tell you what they hear. They hear jobs. Green tells me hearing the loss of jobs and dollars in the state is what could have a big impact on the election. The fact that corporate America has clearly weighed in on this and said that McCrory and the legislature has made a mistake is the sort of thing that is really going to resonate with voters, not just the, uh, the liberal left of the Democratic Party, but with a number of voters across the political spectrum. And during McCreary's interview today, he said one thing he does regret about the bill is removing the ability to sue within the state's court. Hall tells me this is something he sees being repealed, but it will be much more difficult to get the entire bill repealed. Maggie?